Hello, Internet! My name is Abby and welcome back to the Space Exploration Agency. I am indeed back with the ISIU module for the Minma Space Station as I like to install it today. After I have installed this new module, I will leave the surface of Minmouth with my mining lander Mark 1 in order to deliver the sweet ore to the Minmouth space station and to begin the process of transmuting the ore into some liquid fuel and some monopropellant. And here in this case it's now time, after I have refueled the upper stage at the end of last episode, to leave the supply ship once again and to enable SAS and to start an um, RCS and to drift away from the supply ship. Okay, very nice. Is SAS? Yeah, SAS is still running on the supply ship. Very nice. So, okay. I have now left the supply ship and now it's time to um, prepare the flight out to Minmus and I like to set Minmus as my target. I am currently over there so I can perform an inclination change at the ascending node in 13 minutes. Oh, wow, this is directly above the terminator. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, this is the ascending node so I like to perform a burn toward the south in order to match the my or to to have an inclination similar to the inclination of Minmus orbit. Okay, um, 0.2 and um, oh, no inclination at all. That's good. That's really good. Okay, it's a burn of about 195 meters per second. Okay, that's doable. And okay, coming up in 12 minutes. So it's time for a quick time warp. That's good because now we are just in the shadow of Kerbin. So it's not that interesting. Okay. Seven, oh, wait, down there, down there is Kerbal Space Center. That's very interesting. And over there is the supply ship Mark V. There at the moon, very nice. Okay, I can now continue and... Okay, the horizon is getting brighter. Soon we will experience orbital sunrise. That's always beautiful. I like to disable the interface and I like to get a beautiful angle. Maybe something like this could look really, really amazing. Okay, and yeah, there is the disk of the sun. There is the disk of the sun. And soon, yeah, indeed, we are back in the sunlight. Wow, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful all the time. Okay, um, don't miss the maneuver note. Okay, I can get a little bit closer and one minute, I think around one minute before the maneuver, I will come to a stop with my time warp and I will change the attitude of my spacecraft. And um, hmm, I'm not quite sure, maybe around 20 seconds or so, burn of 20 seconds could be possible. So I think I will start my burn maybe 15 seconds before I will reach the maneuver node. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, install those two new segments to the Minma space station because then I do have a large uh, holding tank there where I can store up to 1500 units of ore and I can then transmute that ore into different types of fuel. That's, that's really nice. This is really one of the... Okay, now it's time. Yeah, okay, it's really a short burn, so I can wait even a bit longer. And yeah, that's really one of the main purpose of the um, the Minma space station, to just um, generate some fuel and to deliver that fuel to your different spacecraft and to your different space stations and so on. So um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. And it will add a lot of new or it will really add some, some nice functionality to the Minmus space station. Okay, I have now matched the inclination of Minmus. And now, um, where is the moon? The moon is over there. So maybe over the Terminator again, the perfect position to perform. Okay, oh, dang it. I think I have to... Oh, I don't want to be on an escape trajectory. I think I have to do the burn in the shadow of Kerbin. That's sad. That's really sad. Okay. Um, I like to do something like this. Uh, no, no, no. I like to be... Okay, now I'm on collision course with Minmus. That's not that bad. I can fix this during... During... Uh, well, with an was a mid-course correction burn also. And um, yeah, that's 
probably in the shadow of Kerbin. That's it. Okay, the burn is coming up in 19 minutes, so it's time for uh, another time warp. We can now enjoy the spectacular view down to the surface of Kerbin. That's always nice to orbit around our home planet and to enjoy the view down to uh, some mountain ranges or the ocean or other islands. That's really spectacular. Oh, what was this? Um, a different spacecraft just flew, oh dear, flew past us. And okay, we are now coming closer to the maneuver node. And yeah, we are shortly before sunset. That's good. And okay, here we go. And full throttle, full throttle. Yeah, okay. I think we can complete the maneuver while we are still in the sunlight. That's amazing. That's really great. I like this. I like all the time to see the sunset and the sunrise. This is one of the most beautiful moments in Kerbal Space Program when you can see how the sun is well, vanishing behind Kerbin and then you see all the different colors of the atmosphere. That's all the time so amazing. The same thing happens uh, once you are getting closer to your sunrise. And wow, that's that's so amazing. And yeah, now you can see this beautiful electric blue of the atmosphere. That's so amazing. It's so beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. And um, yeah, so what are we doing? We are about to complete the burn. And... Come on, then I can start to think about the mid-course correction burn so that I'm not impacting Minmus and that I am arriving at the right. Ooh. Now uh, we are a bit short, so I think I just need to continue a bit my burn and yeah, there. Uh, Minmus periaps is 900 kilometers. Now, um, what? Am I now impacting Minmus? What is going on? Um, I like to set the... Okay, um, hmm. that's strange. Um, yeah, okay, let me just prepare. Um, yeah, maybe in seven hours, that's good. So what do I need to... Nothing? Okay, there we can see something. That's that's strange, something is, is really strange. What is going on with my... Wait, no, okay, the moon encounters later, okay. I just thought, oh dang, do I have now an encounter with the moon? Okay, in four hours, I just like to do a few things, but I'm not quite sure what things I need to do. Um, huh, this, this is somehow somewhat confusing, why? Okay. So, and I need to orbit in what direction I need to, the space station is moving, I, I still need this, I need to remember this is the station moving clockwise or anti-clockwise, it's moving anti-clockwise, am I right? Come on, yeah, it's moving anti-clockwise, so I need to arrive on the opposite side, um, how can I do this, no, so this way, then, that's strange, something is really, really weird. Okay, let's do it. Come on, show yourself. 600 kilometers. Yeah, I think I can fix this later on. This would be then the right direction. It's a very, very gentle burn of 1.3 meters per second of delta V. That's okay. Okay, time for yet another time warp. Now we can drift away from Kerbin and we can enjoy um, yeah, the, the view down to Kerbin and we can see that Kerbin is really a sphere. That's all the time so amazing. And goodbye, Kerbin. And I'm getting closer to the maneuver node, so yeah, maybe just a little bit more. And ooh, oh dear. Okay, this doesn't matter as this is a mid curse correction burn. So um, I need to perform a burn in that direction. Maybe, maybe what happens if I, come on, start the burn over here, then Okay, now I do have my minimum periapsis at 600 kilometers. That's interesting. What is causing this? Um, okay, can I? What happens if I do a maneuver maybe over here in one day? Can I then get things? Al no. Okay. Something is really weird with my with the computer. Something is really weird with the navigation computer. So okay, 
Um, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, I think I will just fly out now to the Minmus Encounter. We do have a Minmus Encounter and I can go from there. So, um, Minmus Encounter, can I? I really think somehow the computer isn't quite sure what is going on. But yeah, I like to warp here. So, warp here and... Now we can enjoy the flight out to Minmus. That's always beautiful. It's so nice to see how the moon is orbiting Kerbin. Woohoo, that's cool. And just a couple of hours. There is Minmus. There is Minmus. And time warp complete. So soon we should, I guess, hopefully, enter the sphere of influence of. Now in four hours. What is going on? I'm I'm a bit confused. The computer isn't quite sure what is going on apparently. And um yeah, I don't know. Do we have um there we have a Minmus encounter in four hours? Hmm, that's that's interesting. I think I will just do a quick time warp to hopefully get to the Minmus encounter. Okay, the time warp is reducing and now now okay now we are in the sphere of influence of Minmus and yeah we are orbiting anti-clockwise and we are 600 kilometers away that's good okay now i need to perform a burn maybe maybe can i can i do this over here can i get a little bit closer yeah okay this is not too expensive i can reduce my periapsis and i like to go for 73 kilometers 66, yeah, 66 is a, is a good altitude. I like to go for this. Okay, I don't know what has caused the issue on my navigation computer that the navigation computer wasn't sure if we do have an encounter with Minmus or not. Um, yeah, something weird was happening there. We had a minor software glitch, but at least we are still on a good track. We are on the right track. We are now in the sphere of influence of Minmus and now we can trim a little bit the trajectory so that we can arrive spot on. That's nice. Okay, then I like... Okay, there is a slight... Can I even fix this, this inclination thing? Can I do a burn in just a few minutes? Yeah. Can I maybe match my... Okay, like... So... Yeah, then my periapsis would be at... Would have more or less intersection with the with the trajectory with the orbit of the Minma space station. That's good. Okay, it's a very short burn. I can do this now and then I need to think about my orbit insertion burn so that I am on a good track to rendezvous with the Minma space station. Maybe I can even have a rendezvous right away. This would be good. Okay, yeah, this looks better. Now I like to set the station as my target and I like to add a maneuver over here. So, okay. Then, easy. Can I? Okay, there I would be a little bit ahead of the station, so I have to be in a higher orbit. So I think I will do something like this. Can I already start to fix the inclination over there? Maybe. Maybe I can do some, some changes to the inclination. Okay, 1.8. 1.0, 0.6, can I get this a little bit closer? 0.7, okay, I think 0.6 is the closest I can get. Yeah, that's good. I think that's a perfect orbit insertion burn coming up in two and a half hours. Very nice, time for a, another time warp. Okay, wow, that's exciting. That's really exciting. I'm really looking forward to start producing some fuel on board of the uh, Minma space station. I think this is then really a great thing we can do and I'm also looking forward to use my supply ship Mark V in order to ferry the fuel around and maybe to bring some fuel over to their science station and orbit around Kerbin and so on. I think this, this is really great and it's a very short burn, 9 seconds only. Okay, um, and how we are doing on fuel, yeah, we are down to uh, 219 units of liquid fuel, so it was really a wise decision to refuel the spacecraft in um, Kerbin orbit, because, yeah, it's really a heavy payload. And um, what is down there? In 60 kilo, 62 kilometers, it's 
probably the Minmus Reconnaissance Probe. I think the round trip probe is a bit too far away. We can't see it right now. Oh, um, burn. I need to execute the burn. Don't forget about the burn. Okay, here we go. And cut the engine. Very good. Okay, so... Now, I like to fix the inclination. Oh dear, this will happen. Or will I be back in the sunlight over there? This would be cool. Okay, uh, no. Oh dear, this was too much. This was way too much. Okay, this should fix the inclination. And after I have done this, I can start to think about doing the rendezvous with the Minma Space Station. Okay, six minutes, five, four, three, two, one, easy. Okay, turn this thing around. And cut the engine. Oh dear, this was maybe a bit too much. Um, okay, 0 0.2, good enough. So, um, oh no, no, not, not this problem again. Um, this is problematic. Now I can't set a maneuver node here. Uh, oh dear, um, does this... Oh, I can't even... Hmm. Focus min miss. Okay, um... We do have yet another software glitch with the navigation computer. So I think I just have to return back to Kerbal Space Center. And um, then I have to return back to the... Um, the module delivery. I hope this will fix the software glitch. I hope I have now restarted the good old navigation computer. And yeah, indeed. Now, now I'm finally able again to set up a maneuver node. There I'm still ahead. And oh dear. No, 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 no. Why? Why do I have always to to do the the rendezvous? Oh, um, no. This, this will be still in the shadow of Minmus probably. Why? Why do I have always to do those things in the shadow of Minmus? But 500 meters, 500 meters is amazing and only 8.8 .8 meters per second of delta V are required in order to prepare the, the rendezvous with the Minmus space station. That's cool. That's really cool. So I can now do yet another time warp. And I hope um, during the final phase of the rendezvous we won't experience any um, any software glitches with our navigation computer it would be really problematic if this would happen again and um, yeah we will see we will see if the the software is now running as intended or if something else will happen okay very good and now I will have a separation of one kilometer this is good unfortunately it's in the shadow of Kerbin but well we can't change this um, I like to add a maneuver coming up in 30 minutes. Can we? Yeah, over there uh, in 55 kilometers is the Minma space station. That's good. Okay, we can speed things up. We can see how we are getting closer to it. Okay, 15, 14, 13, 12, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1 minute. One kilometer away from it. Very nice. Okay, and we are less than one kilometer away from it. That's good. Now, okay, I like to slow down. I like to kill all of the relative velocity right now. And okay, very good. Hmm about a kilometer away from it. I think I like to fly a little bit closer to the... Dang it, now I'm facing the wrong way. I like to fly a bit closer to the Minma space station. And then we have unfortunately to wait until we are getting back into the sunlight as I don't like really to do the docking in the in the shadow. It's, it's a bit too dark. This is, this is always sad. Okay, um, that's good. Now I am floating towards it. I can already turn around. Easy. Okay, like so. Do a quick time warp to speed things up. 
we can already see the blue light of the Midmas space station. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, 300 meters, 200 meters. Okay, I think now it's perfect time to come to a stop and to perform some station keeping. Easy. Easy. RCS. No, 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 no. Come to a... Come to a stop. Okay, maybe like so. Maybe like so. Okay, um, the Minma space station luckily has some light, so we can see something. And I think now is... Yeah, I think now is a perfect moment to get rid of the upper stage over here, as I like to install the IRSU module down here to this docking port. So, while we are now in the shadow of Minmus, I think I can get rid of this upper stage. So, um, is there anything I like to get out of it? Um, the spacecraft is full. No, okay, I think. And, wait. Okay, um, before I do this, I think hmm, I should recharge the battery so that the battery of the upper stage is not, wait, 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 is not running out of hmm, charge. Okay, and now I need to hurry, decouple. Very good. I can now switch back to it. Um, no, not target orbit mode. Okay, no, 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 no. Turn retrograde and perform a small burn to deorbit the thing so that we are getting rid of it. Okay, very good. So we have now freed up the docking port, that's nice. Goodbye upper stage and down there is the docking port for the ISIU unit. Okay, now it's time for a quick time warp. We can see our blue station uh, orbiting around Minmus and okay, now we are back in the sunlight, that's good. And 300 meters away, okay, the distance has increased a bit, is the the ISIU unit, so I can now... Oh, ooh, dang, I'm for the wrong direction. I don't want to float away from it. I want to to get closer to it. Oh dear, what am I doing here? Okay, like this, come to a stop and now start flying towards it. Very nice, very nice. Okay. So the docking port is on the opposite side of the space station so I need to fly past it and then turn around and install the module should be no problem okay um, I think we can speed things up a bit no I just need to make sure that um am I on collision course no I think I will will I yeah I think I will fly over it yeah I think there's enough enough space so that I'm flying over it but I need to start thinking about coming to a stop. Oh wow, so much motion is going on. That's looking exciting. It's really looking exciting. Okay, hi. Hi Jetmai, how are you? Okay. Now I can come to a stop. Easy, easy, easy. And cut the engine, switch to docking mode. By the way, how are we doing on fuel? Yeah, it was really good that I have refueled my my upper stage. And now I like to set this as my target and um, now turn the spacecraft around like so maybe. Okay, very good. RCS and forward so that I can align with the docking port. And okay, there is the upper stage. Okay, looking good, looking really good. Now my ISIU unit is casting a beautiful shadow on the solar arrays of the space station. That's cool, that's really amazing. Okay, looking good, looking really good. And let's come to a stop. Very nice. Okay. Turn the thing around. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay, a 
great approach. That's really a great approach. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, come on. Just a couple of meters. And then, um, is there a direction? I don't really have something I like to align. So I think it's okay this way. I can now slow down a bit. And... Okay. The docking ports are taking over and soon we should be docked to the space station. Okay, maybe I just need to switch off the system so that the docking ports are doing the rest. Hopefully. Come on. Settle down. And... What is going on? Come on. Oh dear. What is going on? Do we have yet another glitch? No, no, okay. Finally, finally. Okay, yeah. Very good, very good. Um, I think it looks good. I think it looks really good. So, now, um, is there something I like to get rid of? Um, not really. Oh, well. I don't have something I like really to to trans to bring over into the, the station. So now I can um, decouple this upper stage. Um, no, this is wrong. Why? Why? Why are you doing this? I want to. No, 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 not target. Answer target. I want to switch to it. Why was I able to to switch to the to the wrong upper stage? I want to go to to this upper stage. Indeed, that's better. That's much better. Okay. At first, I need to fly past this. Okay. Now I can turn retrograde. Okay. Soon I'm in a safe distance to the station. So, well, this. The shape of the station looks good. The, uh, the shape of the station is really interesting with all those different directions in which it's extending and... Okay. Goodbye, upper stage. So, the upper stage is flying away and yeah, that's cute. Cool. That's really cool. And okay, I was talking about... Oh, dang it. It's the Mining Lander Mark 1 is currently in the shadow of Minmus. Um, and we start to run late with the episode, so I think I will just um, switch to the Mining Lander Mark 1 to make sure that everything is is in order down there. It uh, utilizes the same light. That's cool. And the ore full. Yeah, so I have filled the large holding tank. I have 1,500 units of ore. In this case, I can now stop the service harvester. I can stop it over there as well. Handler, Citrim and Optop are happy. They know about the fact that they can retract the drill. They know about that now the ISRU module has been installed on the Minma space station. So they know that they can soon leave. Oh, wow, they have a beautiful view over to Kerbin. That's amazing. That they can soon leave the surface of Minmus once they... Um, they are back in the sunlight. That's cool. And um, yeah, wow, 1,500 units of ore are um, being transported to the Minma space station. I hope the fuel is enough in order to lift all the weight. But yeah, the gravity of Minma is not very strong, so I think it should be possible. Um, the carbonauts are happy. They can now um, close the service bay. I think they will keep the... Um, solar arrays um, extended until they really perform their their launch and here yeah, with this I think we have reached the end of this episode I'm really looking forward to fly out to the Minma space station with the mining lander mark 1 and to dock it to the space station and to deliver the the ore and to start the the production of some fuel but this will happen in the next episode so thank you so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed this and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode until then my name is Debbie See you!